Hello, my writers. Today, we're going to be working on doing our own how-to writing. And I wanted to model one for you. So we have a place up here where we can add our picture. Okay, remember your picture should go along with your writing. It should have something to do with what you're writing about. For example, when I wrote about uh, flying a kite, I probably would find a picture of of a kite. Um, it could still be a picture of you if you wanted to upload it in here like we did before when we were doing our personal narratives, if you have, if you're doing the activity, um, or if you just want to find a picture on the web, that's fine as well. All right, so let's get started. So I want to type in the box my how-to. So first I need to think, well, what am I going to write about? Okay. Um, remember, it doesn't need to be something hard that you know how to do. It can be something Easy. And today I'm going to tell you about how to put on hand cream. Okay, hand cream. So if you think about it, most of us know how to do that. But at one point in time, somebody had to tell you how to do it. So I'm going to type that in here. I also need to make sure that I have an opening and a closing. Okay, so I need an opening sentence, a closing sentence, and I need my how to. I'm going to tell it with using first, next, then last. So I'm going to think through my how to, how to, how to put on hand cream, and then I'm going to work on my writing. So let me start with my opening sentence. I know how to put on hand cream. Period. That's what I'm going to tell someone how to do today. I'm going to give them the directions or instructions on how to put on hand cream. I know how to put on hand cream. Period. First, comma. And if you need those words, I have the words first, next, then last up here to remind you. Oh, let me put the comma in there. Over to remind you of your starter words or your temporal words. All right, so what do I do first? First, I get my hand cream, period. Next, okay, let me think, what do I do next? Next, I roll up my sleeves. You know how you roll your sleeves up before you put hand cream on? And for me, and take off my ring. I have a ring on my finger, so I take it off before I put my hand cream on. That's what I do. So let me read through. I know how to put on hand cream. First, I get my hand cream, period. Next, I roll up my sleeves and take, take my ring off. Then, comma, I squeeze a little bit of cream on one hand. Ooh. On one hand, there we go. Then I squeeze a little bit of cream on one hand, period. Last, comma, what do I do last? Last, I Rub the cream together with two hands. And you know what? I want to use the number word two. Two hands. Last, I rub the cream together with two hands on, oops, on the top and bottom of my hands, period. All right, let me see if this makes sense before I do my closing sentence. I know how to put on hand cream. First, I get my hand cream. Next, I roll my sleeves up, sleeves, I roll up my sleeves and take off my ring. Then I squeeze a little bit of hand cream on one hand, period. Last, I rub the cream together with two hands on the top and bottom of my hands. All right, so now I need my closing sentence. So remember, my closing sentence doesn't use first, next, then, or last. My closing sentence is a way to end my writing. So I'm going to say, that 
is how I put on hand cream, period. Okay, that is how I put on hand cream because that's, that is how I do it. I just told you how I put my hand cream on. All right, so now I have my writing finished. In the next video, we'll look at how to add a picture so that we rem remind ourselves how to add a picture into our writing. Make sure after you finish your writing that you go back and reread just like I did to make sure that your sentences make sense. Okay, make sure you have spaces between your words, periods, capitals as you're doing your writing.